The 13 on your side weather deck is sponsored by Montel Construction. Show your home some love. We've had some great spring weekends. This past weekend was pretty good. It was windy. It was very warm unseasonably so, especially on Saturday when we jumped from 30 to 75 in the afternoon, a full 45 degrees. That's one of the biggest warm ups ever in May. It's going to cool down though. 13 weather ball is blue. Cooler weather in view and it's blinking bright. We have showers and maybe a rumble of thunder overnight. And this view sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. We have reached a 66 this afternoon here in Grand Rapids. Uh, mid and upper 60s across much of the area. We forecast 70 today. Uh, so we're back to zero on our number of days in a row with three degrees. 66 is a little bit above our average high of 65. And we saw that 83 yesterday and 75 during the day on Saturday. Let's take a look back at April, which ended Friday. Uh, we were much warmer than last year and much drier than last April. And we were also a little bit warmer and a little bit drier than average and just about the exact amount of sunshine we had last year, but we were 5% shy. Tool time forecast here tomorrow. Lots of clouds. The winds will be around to the northwest. It'll be definitely a jacket day with readings right there at the lakeshore only in the low and mid 50s. We are watching an area of some showers and maybe in some bedded thunderstorms. Pretty stronger ones coming out over north of Milwaukee between there and Sheboygan. Uh, that is going to move in between about 9 or 10 o'clock at the lakeshore and reach Grand Rapids perhaps right around at 2 o'clock in the morning, maybe a little bit earlier. Hour by hour, here come the showers. This is 7, 8, 9 o'clock, already beginning to move on shore into Oceana County, and they'll take a while to get to Grand Rapids, but we'll definitely see some rain, maybe some embedded thunder between 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. before it all oozes off to the east here tomorrow morning. The roads may still be wet for your morning commute, but for the rest of the day, we are looking at some clearing skies taking place late in the afternoon. Our temperatures, though, are going to be a little bit cooler than today by about about 5 to 10 degrees. Skies are going to clear out here tomorrow night, and then we'll start the day with a few clouds, but then lots of sunshine breaking loose on Wednesday afternoon. That may be the best day out of the next three or four. Other than that, we could use a little bit more rain. Our models are indicating anywhere in this blue area, there could be at least a half an inch right here at the airport. The models are saying about 84 hundredths of an inch. That would certainly be most welcome. We're running about uh, two inches or so below average. Other than that, we're looking at skies uh, mostly cloudy to start your day with some breaks later Later on in the afternoon, mid and upper 50s with kind of a stiff north northwest wind. A few miles inland, you'll be at 57 there in Holland. Up north, a mid 50s, maybe 59 in uh, Greenville. Uh, we'll see cloudy skies throughout the morning hours, but it'll be dry and then some breaks later on in the afternoon. And similarly here in the greater Grand Rapids area, a little bit of clearing earlier toward the lake shore, a little bit later in the afternoon off to the east, but highs right around 61, maybe as warm as 62 in Battle Creek. 13 on your side forecast. <laughs> from 61 to 57 on Wednesday. It'll be dry Wednesday. There'll be some overnight showers and those will last through Thursday. Thursday will be the coolest out of the next several with highs only in the mid 50s. Rain will be around in the morning, a separate round in the morning on Friday, but the sun does come out in the afternoon. It will only be 56. Weekend looking good, although it is going to be very chilly Saturday morning. There is a likelihood of some frost, but we'll hit 60 in the afternoon and 62 on Sunday. Perhaps some morning frost again next Monday. We'll hit 60 or so both Monday and Tuesday. And then the following Wednesday night and Thursday, we may see some more much needed rain showers.